Hi, I'm Tina Marie Parker of Nosy Parkers and today I'm going to be talking about the importance of staff wellbeing and how it impacts on businesses. So what is wellbeing? Wellbeing can be defined as creating an environment to promote a state of contentment which allows an employee to flourish and achieve their full potential for the benefit of themselves and their organisation. So putting it simply, people perform better when they are happier. Some of you may be thinking, I'm too busy running my business and I haven't got time for well-being. Some findings and investigations make for stark reading. Employees take an average of eight days sick leave per year, costing approximately £600 per employee. Stress and mental health problems cost UK businesses £3.9 billion per year. £44 billion is lost in productivity by disengaged workers every year. Annually, we lose 28 million working days due to staff absences. Businesses that understand the importance of wellbeing ensure employers have the tools to work and give them opportunities to achieve personal goals and a good work-life balance. How companies introduce wellbeing varies and includes gyms in the office, healthy lunches and aligning business and staff values. The basics of wellbeing in the workplace include the right salary and benefits for the role, clear job descriptions and a good work-life balance, teamwork and cooperation, values-based working and management and a clear mission, job training and personal development, personalisation of workstations, which includes things like plants and photos, flexible benefits, including opportunities to buy holiday or shares in the company, healthcare or a gym membership. Richard Branson, whose Virgin Group is committed to flexible working, believes as long as his employees do their job, they can work wherever they want, whenever they want. Reward staff members and teams when they meet or exceed targets. It might be enough to offer complementary therapies such as shoulder or Indian head massages. Don't just take my word for it. Businessman and former dragon, James Kahn, said, it is no coincidence that companies which look after their staff and treat them well are the ones which tend to be the market leaders. He adds, if people like the way they are treated, then they will often be prepared to make extra effort when the pressure is really on. Business owners should also be aware of the Hawthorne effect. Show you care about your employees and the result is an increase in performance. Ensure employee engagement is prioritised as part of your business strategy. This strategy needs to include clear leadership, policies and procedures, including those which cover staff wellbeing. Be honest and open with your teams and ask individual staff members what motivates them. This works best when the company's and employees' interests are aligned. Wellbeing is directly linked to productivity, growth and brand. Ignore well-being and risk increased conflict, sickness, high staff turnover and low morale. This is particularly important to any companies wanting to attract school and university leavers whose expectations of employers are much higher than previous generations. Positive well-being means more productive and creative staff, leading to improved business performance and growth. Get in touch if you would like to discuss ways you can introduce well-being into your business strategy, processes and procedures. Watch our other video blogs to help your business thrive. And please look around our website for our full range of business services and testimonials. I'm Tina Parker, Nosy Parkers. Thank you for watching.